Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager. Today I'm really excited because we are starting a fresh new map. Very exciting indeed. Uh, the Halifax map, again, not much we can do with that now, so what better than to start fresh somewhere completely random. Now, I'm going to go on to new game here and uh, of course we are the Joe Ahead group because we have expanded. We're going to be in Central Europe, Great Britain and uh, I think... I think we're going to be going to Tarvin, because I do not know where that is. Where is Tarvin? Who knows? Uh, we're going to be playing on normal mode. Tarvin strikes me as somewhere that the village uh, outside would be better. Uh, additional challenges. Oh, right, we'll leave them for now. Should we just leave it on 200,000? We'll, uh, we'll just go from there. So, Tarvin, where is that then, I wonder? Uh, let me know in the comments if you happen to be from there. Uh, it's a rather niche sort of place. Obviously, if it's a Birmingham then that would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? I didn't want to start in City of London because I thought that would just be too easy to make money with. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what we've got to offer. Knowing my luck, it will be a really remote place in the middle of Scotland or Wales and there won't be anything to do. It'll be really, really difficult. Right, so... Oh, OK. There seems to be quite a bit going on here. Shall we zoom out and see if we can find anywhere nearby? Great Barrow... Hellsaw, Ashton Hayes, right, now Ashton Hayes makes it sound like we're down south. This is obviously a bigger place here, with a large railway station. Littleton, uh, Huntington, okay, yeah, are we uh, are we in the Midlands somewhere? Tarpoli, Delamere, oh hang on, Delamere, isn't, isn't that fairly... Up, up? I'm trying to think. My geography is absolutely appalling. Anyway, back to Tarvin. I've lost it. Where is it? It should be in the middle of the map, you'd imagine. There it is. There's Tarvin. So Tarvin is going to be our base of operations for this series. Uh, it strikes me as just a little town with not that much going on, to be perfectly honest with you. But we're going to put our depot on this little uh, commercial industrial estate type deal there. There we go. Pop it there. Premises are now being prepared. Now, it's quite a while since we did this, and things have changed. When you buy new now, you can actually fit uh, on the side here a medium space. No, you can't. That's a lie. Uh, yeah, I thought you could. You can't. You can still only fit small spaces there. I thought they said they'd done away with that. Maybe they brought it back again. I don't know. So, let's set up the service centre uh, first of all. We'll just use this tiny little one. We don't need anything big, do we? Uh, I forgot because it talks you through everything, doesn't it? Which is quite useful. Pop an information monitor on the wall. Yeah, lovely. Let's have a desk. Pop the desk down. In fact, we'll put two desks down. We'll treat ourselves. Provide at least two seating options. Right, okie dokie. We will have armchairs. There we go. That'll do. <clears throat> now, we need an office. Uh, so we need a corridor. Where are we? Office? No, we, we corridor first. There we go. Right, build corridor. Should the corridor be down down the front here? With four, so we can fit plenty of lockers in. Uh, it must be accessible via a door. There we go, there's a door there. We'll have it tinted so that passengers can't see through it. Uh, and we'll build an office room. We'll just we'll just start really small at the moment, so six by four. There we go, that's a good office size with a door. And one standing desk in the office. Oh yes, of course, because... We need the researchers to research, don't we? We'll put two down. That'll do. Provide at least one seat. Right, we'll, we'll have... Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll have grey in the office. There we go. You can sit in a line and have your break. So, kitchen. 4x4 four four in size. There we go. Just a tiddy little kitchen. And we'll have that coming off, the, uh, off this as well. What do we need? A fridge and a vending machine. Fridge, vending machine. Vending machine can go at this side. There we go. Lovely. Should we have some, uh, we'll have a counter as well. Maybe a sink. I thought I'd click sink. Obviously not. It is reachable. Oh, it's not. Hang on. Right, move. Rotate round. There we go. So we've got a sink there. What else could we have in the, uh, a trash can? That would be sensible to have in the kitchen. I'll tell you what, we'll just put another vending machine in there. Lovely. Really accessible. So we need a bathroom as well. Now, since we first did this, we have learned how to uh, how to 
create bathrooms. Right, there we go. We'll have the bathroom a bit bigger. So, uh, right, there's a way we can place a wall. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Delete that. We'll put the toilets in first. Bathroom, uh, toilet. Uh, it must be accessible. Excellent. Well, we'll have a tinted door on the bathroom. Because, you know, it, it just seems sensible to do that. Let's have a bathroom sink there. And another one there. Lovely. Right, okay. So, we need some walls. Now, we did this in the last series. There we go. Look at that. It doesn't actually work that well, to be honest with you. Because the doors are too close, but it's fine. They're tiny little cubicles, and if they wish to leave the doors open while they're going for a wee, or whatever they're doing, then that is entirely up to them. So, our first buses build at least one more piece of road. I can do that. Right, build one piece of road. Where is the road? Street, there we go. Place two bus spaces on your premises. A bus space must be connected to the street. Right, so should we go with the small again? I mean, the small worked last time, and we can fit them in there. So we'll go with, we'll go with those. We'll have three again because it worked. You know, uh, we'll we'll go with the winning formula. Oh, research. Oh, right. Okay. Oh yeah, you need to hire some staff, don't you? Uh, right. Okay. So we need to buy two buses. There we go. Marketplace. Are we going with brand new? Should we go with brand new? I mean, like, they're not exactly what you call expensive, are they? <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, the Sprinter can carry 12. Cost more. Should we go with the, the Cito? That can carry quite a few. In fact, no, let's go with the Master. There we go. I don't want... Oh, right, you can't specify. Yeah, we, we don't want any of that. Keep it basic. We'll have three, because we've got three spaces. That is £9,000. That's absolutely fine. We're going to go with a nice standard white, because, you know, that is the colour we order. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's awful. It's brilliant. The doors are like the entire size of the bus. That's that's ridiculous. Right, let's get them ordered. And now we need to hire some staff. So we need the lockers, of course, uh, because... Ooh, look, there we go, our new buses. Wee! Our new bus has just been smacked around some railings. These are going to be the uh, the pinnacle of our service. We're a new company in this area, so it strikes me as sensible to order small, little, terrible buses. Oh, look, there we go. Welcome to Tarvin. Yes, we're going to get 345% subsidy on all income. That is good, 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 good. Uh, right, what are we needing to do? So we need to put some lockers down in the corridor. I do sort of feel like we're just starting from scratch. Well, we are starting from scratch. That's why you feel like we're starting from scratch. Um, but yeah, it just sort of feels like... Because it's so long since we started again. I feel like I'm brand new to the game again. Right, so we need two bus drivers. Now I want the best of the best. So we'll have you, because you're really good. And you're not too friendly, but you are very reliable. So, yeah. Owen Shuster, welcome to the team. I didn't actually look at what our, our new bus driver was called. John Amdals. He's like the best of the best, isn't he? Uh, so, we've got two of them. Do we need three? Yeah, we'll have Evelina Spencer as well. She'll do. She'll do. Again, we've not got the friendliest of drivers, but it's fine. Hire a mechanic. Again, the mechanic doesn't need to be that friendly. I don't get what the friendliness of the mechanics has to do with anything. I'm sure that it does play an important part. Maybe it affects how quickly they get stressed. I don't know. Hire a researcher. Uh, right, we'll have two of you then. Again, you don't need to be friendly. So we'll hire two of you. Oh, we need a cleanup, but we can't because the office is too small. Hang on, how does that work then? So the office would never be big enough if I built it at that size. Ah, right, because I hired one more bus driver and I hired one more researcher. That's why I'm with you. I'm with you. I thought for a second the game was trying to diddle me. The fridge is... The, the kitchen is too small. But I guess you don't need a bigger kitchen, do you, at the moment? Right, we'll hire a cleaner. Where is the cleaner? Uh, should we just have one? So you are the most reliable. You're also... Uh, Margot Thompson is also the most unfriendly. And then service employee. Now, we would like friendly if we can have friendly. 
No. <laughs> we'll have two really unfriendly service employees. Right, so build a gas station. A gas station must be connected to the street. Well, of course. Uh, right, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Street gas station. Oh, good lord. Right, okay. Uh, right, we'll have... We'll have the gas station there. Yep, lovely. Bus wash. We'll just place them all next to each other. Yep. No. Not happy. In this series, we may... And I say may... We may explore the use of bendy buses. So we'll just go with the large one from the off. May as well. Uh, and a workshop, we need a lifting platform. Uh, right, hang on. We also need more street. There we go. Uh, lifting platform, big. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. It, it's just lovely, isn't it? Oh, it wants a standard one. Well, I'm I'm going with a big one. So what are you going to do about that? Let's just delete all of that. Yeah, delete, delete, delete. Why is it built a random section of wall there? Can I can I just bulldoze you? There we go. Right, we need a warehouse. Minimum size four by four. We could actually put the warehouse on the back of the service centre, couldn't we? <coughs> Excuse me. Is that alright? That is okay for a warehouse size. Right, let's have a door on the back of there, and a door there, and a door on the back of there, so they can they can sort of do their thing. God, we sound like Northern, don't we? Go do your thing. There we go, right. Sling you in there. A couple of shelves in the middle, maybe. Can we, can we put one there? Yeah, lovely. And then just one there. Okay, it's cluttered. It's cluttered, but we love cluttered. Cluttered works for us. Now, our first bus route. Open the map and place your first bus route. 10 to 15 stops. Should we just have, like, a little Tarvin Town Runner? I, I think that would work. Little Town Runner from Tarvin. Own bus route. Right, this will be the T1. There we go, because it's the Tarvin 1. So we're going to start at the Red Lion. We're going to go park close. Grosvenor Road. And then, why have we got no bus stops in this sort of little residential area? No, I, I want you to... Oh, you can't get there. Ah. Right, okay, we might be better off then. Not stopping at Park Close and coming up round here. Yeah. And then just sort of... See, there's nowhere to turn around on here, is there? See, I wanted to come up here. But there's a turning circle here, so if we if we build you to there... Cross lanes, yeah. Round here. Back to cross lanes. And then down Broomheath. Lovely! Oh no, hang on. We, we want you on the main road at St Andrew's Church. And then we'll go back to the Red Lion, back to Park Close, and then we'll go up here like that. Brilliant. That is our little little Tarvin Town runner. So we will accept that. Should it be every half an hour, do you think? I mean, it's not going to be particularly brilliant, is it? The last one at 11 o'clock. Every half an hour works. Advanced settings, right, okay. So it literally takes 15 minutes to get round. So we can do it on one bus. Uh, Broomeave Lane, add five minutes sat there. And then you still get 10 minutes at the red line, don't you? So it's, yeah, it literally is fine. We'll just leave it like that all day. Yep, lovely. Oh, I forgot we don't have the scheduler yet. We've not unlocked that. That's interesting. Yeah, we, we don't have the scheduler. So what else can we... Where can we go? We can get minibuses down to Great Barrow. That will work. We've also got down here via there and via up here as well. You've got lots of little houses that could potentially, you know, want a service. I, I think that we could... Oh, we're paused, that's why. 
There we go. Come on, unpause. Assign the T1. Who's going to be? Uh, it will have to be John Amdals because he was our first, our first employee. So he can take the first route. Come on, John. Wherever you are, let's get assigned to the route. I'm, I'm quite excited. I mean, the good thing about this as well, of course, don't forget, is that I have no idea where we are. I mean, we're obviously going to... The first point of call is to expand west, because this looks like we could do with expanding down there. We've got a railway line that comes down here, but doesn't seem to have any stations that I can see. That sort of reminds me of maybe Bolton? I know it's not. I can see it's not. There's too many platforms and too many sidings. If we zoom in, does it give anything away? No? Ultrasound... No, it, it just doesn't seem to give anything away at all. The Narrows Community Park... Nothing. I mean, Bolton has the station like that with this line that goes up towards uh, Preston and then this line that goes towards, is it Clitheroe? Maybe? I'm, I'm not too sure. But, uh, I mean, Great Bolton. I still don't really know where we are. <laughs> but yeah, this is a big place, isn't it? So we're going to have to expand down here, evidently. That would make sense. Oh, first bus is out, everybody. What time does he start? Oh, his first tour's at 1900. Why couldn't he work the 1800? Oh, he's doing the 1830. I see. Right. How about another new route, just while we're here? Go back to the, go back to the map. Right, bus routes. New route. Own bus route. So we're going to start at the red line, obviously. Go up to Woodward Walk. Pool Lane. Shea Lane. And then we're going to turn left. Go down here to bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Oh, it doesn't give them names. That's a shame. And then we're going to go up round here. Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Barrowmore Hospital. Well, we're obviously stopping at the hospital. That seems a sensible place. Stop by the Bluebell Cafe. Oh, what's what's this? Do we have to go up and round? It would appear so. Right, we'll stop by the cafe. That's about as close as we're going to get, isn't it? Let's stop down here. Mill Lane. Great Barrow. There we go, and then Lampitz Lane, back up. Lampitz, that doesn't sound nice, does it? Lampitz Lane, goodness me. Uh, Bluebell Cafe, we've got Barrowmore Hospital. Bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop. Yeah, that's good. So it just connects the little, uh, the little towns together. I think we'll go down, park close like that, back round and to the Red Lion. So I think that can be like our little circle. So if it if it goes that way out of the red line, it'll come back down here and round. Same as if it goes that way out of the red line, it'll come up and round like that. That makes sense, doesn't it? I'm sure that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so that will be the uh, the one. Will it be the one? Uh, tell you what, we'll start with the convention of 100. There you go, that could be the 100. And then we'll go 101, 102, 103, 104. Yeah. So every 60 minutes, I think is fine. First one being at 5 or 5 o'clock we'll have until 22. That could be the last one, 10 o'clock at night. Every 60 minutes. Again, can't imagine there's going to be an awful lot that we need. Right, where's the terminus? It's mill lane, isn't it? So if we stick 10 minutes at mill lane, and then again it'll have 25 minutes, 24 minutes waiting here. Barrowmore Hospital, one, two, three, four, five, and then where's the hospital again? Five minutes there. Okay, that's better. We'll have five minutes at the hospital just to keep it nice and uh, nice and normal again. Uh, right, you can be Monday to Friday. Right, copy that schedule. Yep, paste it there. Saturday, you can start at six o'clock and go till ten, and then Sunday. You can start at 7 o'clock and go until 9. You can finish an hour earlier on a Sunday. 
That's our usual convention, isn't it? That'll do. Right, there we go. Let's let's have some more. <coughs> right, get that 100 out. I guess it's Monday at 6 o'clock now, isn't it? So, I can't imagine that we're going to do a roaring trade. In fact, I don't think there's anyone waiting at any of these stops. Excellent. Come on, John Amdals. Off he goes. So that bus is out of service. There we go. Oh, we've got three passengers on. We've got three passengers. Two. Three. Right little popular run this, isn't it? Oh, it's a slow road, is this? It says sell 20 tickets. How have we not sold any tickets? Or does it? do we have to wait until the end of the run, I wonder? For it to sort of log. They better not all be travelling for free, John. Oh, is this where we wait the five minutes? Have I done that wrong? I think it is. Never mind, it can wait five minutes there. That's fine. Yeah, I think it's going to log when we when it gets back. Three. Why is it not? Oh, have they already got like weekly tickets or something? Carry 50 passengers, we can do this. It'll set off round again in a moment. Right, where's the 100? I want to I wanna click the 100. Oh, there. Do you just click there? Lovely. Right, two passengers. I don't get how they've got weekly tickets and things when... Uh... Oh, it's getting a bit full. Yeah, how can they have weekly tickets when we've not done weekly tickets? Like, the service centre's not open. Yeah, five minutes stood here. Speed that up a little bit. I mean, the 19-seater... Well, it's not 19-seater, is it? It's uh, it's nine-seater. It literally has nine seats in it, this thing. Not many, but it doesn't seem to be struggling. Okay, eight, nine. Yeah, we're full. But that is fine, isn't it? God, it's a world away from... Remember, like, in the last series when we were doing... Ridiculous things like having buses with over a hundred passengers on and now we're like getting excited about wow There's more than ten on my bus And see again, we've got extra routes we need to go see Kelso looks quite big But why is there no buildings in it? This is what I struggle with at this game at times. There's like big areas again Tarpoli looks massive. There's nothing there So I think that we would have a route from Tarvin down this main road here to Tarpoli or tarpily. I'm not sure how you would say that. But there's just nothing there, so there's no need to. This is an area we really need to expand to. And we've got down the main road here. Straight down. Wow, we've completed something. So, we need to... Oh, we've completed the sell 20 tickets and the carry 50 passengers. Excellent! That bus is fine. It, we don't need to do anything with that, because we can still operate the other one with, uh, with our one bus. So we'll have that one spare. Click on your account balance to open the financial overview. There we go. I never actually changed the ticket price on the other game. I always just left it as it was. <coughs> I found that people were reasonably happy with that. So again, with loans and things like that, that's good. How about we do some research and unlock a big bus? There we go. Start researching, please. Researching people. So we'll keep it on fast forward. And get our 10 tours done successfully. I don't know if we'll get 10 tours done this evening. I don't know. Oh, right, there we go. There's one that's been done there. Because I think this other one's 10 o'clock is the last one out. 13 passengers. Again, Ashton Hayes. That looks like a good place to expand to. Moldsworth. Oh, that doesn't sound good. This is probably somewhere that I know really well. And I've, I've just, you know, I'm, I'm completely forgotten. Like Moldsworth, I'm sure I know where that is. Sure I've heard of Moldsworth before. So we need to increase the bus network. So again, I, I think this would be fairly straightforward to do. Maybe down to... Gildan, is it Gildan or Golden? Gildan. 
maybe need some glasses. And then Mickle Trafford, that would be, you know, like quite a good little route. But again, I want to expand this way and see where this is. Because there's going to be some sort of bus station that we can have here, isn't there? Oh, we've unlocked the Citaro C2. Wow. That is good news. Heck, how far does this go? We're not going to have to expand for ages, are we? Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll go with some street. I think that's that's about yes. Yeah. So if we go on bus space medium, lovely. There we go. That'll do. So we've got six spaces, and then the bus fleet. Let's have see Citaro C two. Should we just buy brand new? Six, yeah, six of them, and we'll go with the uh, the Browns local templates. No, that's not it. Import the repaint. Joe ahead C two, lovely. Oh, it's good to see the Joe ahead group back branded. I can't believe we've got so many buses, and it's our first our first video. We need more bus drivers as well. Don't forget bus drivers. Uh, oh, we need a bigger office size again. Right, hang on. Office. Yeah, build the office. We'll keep the kitchen fairly small. We can always just shove another kitchen in, can't we? I like the fact that more of them are sitting down now. We never used to have that, did we? There we go. More chairs for everybody. And then let's have another door on there so that people can actually get to the, uh, to the workshop. Right, let's hire some staff. Who do we need? You're really not friendly at all. I love it. Right, you two are brilliant. Hire you. How many drivers have we got now? Uh, six. Six is fine. Six is a good number. You're really reliable. Not friendly in the slightest, but we'll have you. Again, fairly reliable. Yep, you'll do. You're awesome. We really do have a, uh, a lot of unfriendly drivers. But I guess we're a local company, aren't we? I'm really on here. I haven't had a day off this week. Hang on, it's only Monday. Our company opened its doors literally 12 hours ago. You can't be moaning that you've not had a day off yet, for goodness sake. God, these staff. Look at these buses. Aren't they gorgeous? That's a, a really nice fleet to start with. Again, these chaps are, uh, are, are fairly... I should have taken a picture while it was daylight, shouldn't I? Should we time jump? Way. See, we're at that stage in the game where we can actually afford to time jump. Let's just make sure that that's clean. Come on, cleaner. I don't know what our first cleaner's name is. Who is it? Margot Thompson. Oh yeah, not very friendly. Margot is not the friendliest of uh, of ladies. <coughs> Complete the ten tours successfully. I think we can easily do that. Have we got a loan on the go? No, we just, yeah, that's just our startup capital. Awesome. Right, well, in the next episode, I think we're going to use those Citaros to do something around here, like Mickle Trafford. There's also something going on up here, look, something big. Maybe a retail park or something. Uh, there's lots of little villages, which is going to make this quite difficult, like I say, unless we expand down here. But, uh, yeah, do let me know. If you've seen anything that you think that would be a really, really good idea, let me know in the comments, because, as I say, this is all a little bit new to me. I haven't really got a game plan, uh, other than go to that big city on the left. Or that big town. I don't even know if it's a city. Uh, if you know what area this is, please do shout out. If this is your local area, well, well yeah, if it's your local area, then please be prepared to weep as I absolutely butcher your new bus network. Mm. If you've enjoyed the video, please do click that like button. It's always appreciated by myself. And uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing so you never miss out on any future City Bus Manager episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.